Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 4F on page 137. Using the algorithm for finding maximum or minimum values, determine the absolute extreme values for each function on the given interval. f of x equals to 4x all over x squared plus 1, where x is in between 2 and 4. Now, before step 1, I would like to write down a thought that you should be able to see before graphing it and solving it. And the idea is, by inspection, you should be able to see that f of x is an odd function. It's an odd function because if you plug in negative x, this equals to negative f of x. And because the function is going to be odd, it's going to be symmetric about the origin, which will help you when you graph this in a moment. Now, step one, find the end points. On the left-hand side, x is going to be 2. So if you plug in 2, that's going to give you 4 times 2 divided by 2 squared plus 1. When you work this out, this equals to 8 divided by 5, or it's going to be 1.6. Now, likewise, if you look at the other endpoint, f of 4, that's going to be 4 times 4 divided by 4 squared plus 1. And when you work this out, this would give you 16 divided by 17, or approximately 0 0.9. Now, before we keep going, here's what I would strongly recommend everyone to try. Always graph as you go. Do not graph at the end. If you graph as you go, you can see every step along the way in case there's a mistake. So again, so far, we have two points. Let's label this on the graph first. Let's say you're using a scale of 1, and you're thinking about negative 4 to 4, just like that. So one point so far is going to be 2. 1.6. That means you go to the graph, you go right by 2, up by 1.6. So 2, 1.6. Likewise, if you look at the other point, uh, f of 4, that's going to be 0.9. So you're going to go right by 4, up by 0.9. So 4, 0.9. Okay. Now, if you go back to f of x, we can now use the algorithm which would be finding the critical points. To find the critical points, you have to find the derivative. So to find f prime, that equals to, again, you can apply the quotient rule. You can square the bottom, x squared plus 1, quantity squared. You copy the bottom to the top, x squared plus 1, times 4 minus 4x times 2x. And to find critical points, you have to set this to be 0. And because it's going to be a fraction, your focus is only going to be on the numerator. That's going to give you 4 x squared plus 4 minus 8x squared. If you collect like terms, 4 minus 8 is negative 4, so negative 4x squared plus 4. You can bring 4x squared to the left, keep the 4 on the right. The opposite of multiplying by 4 is to divide by 4. And to find x, the opposite of x squared is to find the square root. So be mindful, there are two x values, which are 1 and negative 1. And again, even though I'm doing a little bit more than I need to, I want to show you the bigger picture. So if you plug it back in, f of 1, again, you can look at this just by inspection, or if you want, you can write it down. f of 1 is going to be 4 divided by 1 plus 1. That's going to give you 2. So one point is going to be 1, 2. Likewise, if you plug in negative 1, that's just going to give you negative 4 divided by 1 plus 1 again, which is negative 2. So the other critical point is negative 1, negative 2. 
So I am going to label this because I want to make sure you can see the big picture, not just the answer to this question, but the entire graph as a whole. This means when you go right by one, up by two, that's going to be a critical point. Likewise, if you go left by one, down by two, that's the other critical point. Now, by inspection, you can tell one, two is the largest y value possible, which means this is going to be a maximum. And likewise, negative one, negative two is the smallest y value possible, which means this is going to be a minimum. Again, we go back to the basics. Uh, the function is going to be odd, which means it's going to be symmetric about the origin. If you look at the xy intercepts, you can also tell that the x intercept is going to be at 0, 0. So if I graph the entire function, here's what you should be able to see. On one side, it's going to look something like that. And on the other side, it's going to be the exact opposite with the same symmetry. And there should be a horizontal asymptote at y equal to 0. Now, if all you're answering is what they're asking, which is find the absolute extreme values of each function given, because your domain is only from 2 to 4, so if we can find this only from 2 to 4, then you can say the final answers are minimum of, uh, let's put this here, minimum at 4, 0 0.9, and a maximum of 2, 1.6. However, if you look at the big picture, you should recognize the absolute maximum is at 1, 2, and the absolute minimum is at negative 1, negative 2. I hope this makes sense.